fully understand how to use hack motion, you have to understand what you're measuring with the sensor. We're going to look into probably the most important metric that we track with the hack motion sensor, lead wrist, flexion, and extension. So how does flexion extension influence the club face? Wrist extension, which is sometimes referred to as cupping, opens the club face, making the face of the club point more towards the sky, which is represented as a positive value in the app. Extension happens when you bend your wrist backwards, moving the top of your hand towards your forearm. Flexion, which is sometimes referred to as bowing, closes the club face, making the face point more towards the ground. Flexion is represented as a negative value in the app. Adding flexion happens when you bend your wrist forwards. Flexion and extension not only influences the club face, but also the steepness of the shaft. Increasing extension makes the shaft more steep, like in the picture on the left. Increasing flexion makes the shaft more shallow, like in the picture on the right. So why do we need to care about flexion extension of the wrist? Because controlling the flexion extension is key to consistency. Flexion and extension directly controls the club face. Since the club face determines the direction of the ball flight, wrist extension control is key to a stable swing. If you have poor control of the club face, you will need to make last moment adjustments, such as throwing the club, which is hard to repeat consistently. The earlier you square the face in the downswing and get into a good position, the easier it will be to play consistent golf. Many amateur players struggle with open club face and steep downswing, which causes slicing of the ball. This is caused by pulling down on the handle with too much wrist extension. Too much wrist extension opens the club face and steepens the shaft. The open club face forces the player to hit with an out-to-in path and cut across the ball. The out-to-in path usually results in a slice. This also forces the player to stall body rotation and lose power and distance. It is very hard to time this motion consistently, which causes a lot of consistency problems. Typically, in a good swing, you want good backswing position with not too much extension or flexion, relatively neutral face, in transition while the club is still moving slowly, gradually close the club face by adding flexion. This will also help to shallow the club and prevent a steep downswing. Rotate the body through impact to generate power and stable club face. This pattern works because flexing the wrist early in the downswing, when the club is still moving slowly, requires less work on the player's part to make sure the club face is properly squared later in the swing. This allows the player to rotate and generate more power in their swing. It's the move which we can players need to add more power and fix that nasty slice once and for all. Okay, so somebody might watch a Dustin Johnson video and think that all they have to do is close their club face as much as possible. This is not correct and we are not suggesting that more flexion is always good. Too much flexion can cause a very shot face at the top. The extremely shot face will incentivize to hit with a very out-to-in path. This out-to-in path will cause massive hooks. So we need to remember that you should measure and balance your wrist motion to control the club face. When we talk about numbers, one important factor you have to take into account is the grip. First, let's take an example of a Wii grip. Wii grips usually have little extension at tad wrist, somewhere in the range 0 to 10 degrees. Less extension at tad wrist means that the neutral club face will also have less extension at the top or even some flexion. In general, we see that good players maintain or slightly decrease their extension from tad wrist to top. For example, John Rahm and Jordan Spieth have weak grips and also some flexion at the top. A neutral grip usually has around plus 10 to plus 25 degrees of extension at tad wrist. Usually, the extension at the top is similar or a bit less. A stronger grip has more extension at address position, usually somewhere between plus 25 to plus 40 degrees. Stronger grips will also maintain more extension at the top. This is completely normal and not all grips need to have the same extension at the top. That's why we design hack motion club face control mode, backswing and downswing metrics to automatically adjust for different grips. These metrics measure the difference between two swing positions and not just wrist angles at certain swing positions. They show changes, not just positions. So what are good flexion extension numbers to aim for? Let's use an example with a neutral grip. These three numbers below show the amount of flexion extension at address stop and impact. The player had 20 degrees at address, then the player decreased extension to plus 15 degrees at the top, and at impact the player had minus 5 degrees of flexion. It is best to analyze these numbers using backswing and downswing metrics we have designed for the club face control mode. The backswing metric measures the extension change from address to the top of the backswing. We have analyzed tour player data and we see that typically good players keep the extension they had at address quite stable to the top or slightly decrease it. 
so they do not open or close the club face a lot. Based on this, we designed the suggested backswing metric range, minus 10 degrees less extended to plus 5 degrees more extended. Simply add these range values to your address position. For example, if you had 20 degrees of extension at address, then you should have from plus 10 degrees of extension at the top to plus 25 degrees of extension. The downswing metric measures how much the player removed extension at impact compared to address position. Normally, we see that tour players who have shaft lean remove a lot of extension at impact. So the suggested range is minus 15 to minus 30 degrees more flex at impact than at address. In contrast, amateurs who struggle with throwing the club have a similar amount of extension at address and at impact, so their downswing metric is close to zero. Again, simply add these range values to your address position. For example, if you had 20 degrees of extension at the address, then you should have from plus 5 degrees of extension to minus 10 degrees of flexion at impact. So this is an overview of flexion and extension of the lead wrist. To summarize, club face control mode, during the backswing, focus on keeping your extension stable or slightly decreased at the top. During the downswing, remove the extension to square the face. Most good players do this and so should you.